Don't be afraid. It sounds scary, but we're going to talk about converting binary to decimal. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Here we go. You remember we learned in way back in school, the ones place, the tens place. So if a hundred, you know, in the number 100, or let's just say the number 127, 127, what place is the seven? Oh, the seven is in the ones place. The two is in the tens place and the one is in the hundreds place. Notice that when you go from the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, every time you do that, you're multiplying by 10 base 10. That's why that's done. Binary does the exact same thing, but remember, what are we in? We're in base two. You just multiply by two every time. The first digit is the ones place. The next is the twos, the fours, the eights, the sixteens, the 32, 64, 128, etc. Now I want you to stop and think about those numbers that I just said. Do you recognize them? 128, 64, 256, 512. All those numbers that you're hearing right now should ring a little bit of a bell, and that is in storage. Like when I bought my phone, this is a, I don't know, I think I have the 256 gig version. Why is it 256? Why is it not 250 or 300? Why are those numbers so common? That's because they are stored because computers work in binary. So I listed eight numbers. Remember how many bits are in a byte? It's eight. So if I have eight numbers, I'm gonna go one, the two, the four, the eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128. Those are the numbers working from, if you're thinking about them or writing them down from right to left. So here's an example. So how do we convert binary to decimal? It's simple addition. The number 129 is just 128, which is our leftmost digit, all the way, and then that's a one. Everything else is a zero, and then the last one is a one. Why? Because 128 plus one equals 129. How about 128 plus eight? So I'm gonna have 128 bit is on, so my leftmost bit uh, in the byte is on. Uh, so that's 128. And then I go all the way down, all the way to the eight bit. So we're at one, zero, zero, zero. Now we're to a one again, and then zero, zero, zero. That now equals 136, 128 plus eight. Does that work for you? I hope it does. If not, do the exercise on paper. It actually works to do that. So again, on paper, start with one all the way to the right, and then double it until you get to 128. One, two, four, eight, 16, et cetera, until you get to 128. You notice you have eight digits. You have a whole byte worth of data. Here's some questions now. All zeros is real easy. If I have all eight bits to zero, what are it? what do you have in decimal? You have zero. What if you have all eight bits on? One, 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 all the way to eight of them. How, what do you have now? You've added those up. You get to the number 255. But how many total combinations do you have? The answer is 256. You have zero, which is a starting number, to 255. Remember that 256 number we talked about? It's a very common number out there in technology. That's how you get there. Okay, I hope that helps. So what, we're, what we've accomplished here today, we've converted binary to decimal. By the way, you can keep on going. 256, 512, 1024. Uh, all these numbers, um, they just, they continue. That's just the way that they, way that they work. A little bit of homework for you. Look up ASCII, A-S-C-I-I, -I, ASCII characters. When you type the ASCII characters, the first uh, set of them, there's 256 of them. They're the 256, uppercase, lowercase, numbers, symbols. So just look at that. There's also an equation, you know, not an equation, but kind of a, a standardized version of, okay, one zero one zero that adds up to 160 that equals something on your keyboard right here you can actually look that up and say oh that's the h letter or whatever it is hopefully that helps you understand how to convert binary to decimal i promise it has applicability in networking awesome thank you for your time hope to see you in the next video 
hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Awesome.